I'm Judith Aston, and I'm here today to share something that is really fun for me and that serves me very well in feeling more able as I age. So I'm interested to share this with you. Um, I would say my most important skill set in this lifetime has been my creativity. I'm a problem solver. <laughs> And because of that, I have all kinds of things that I have created, uh, not only inventions, but programs. And all of these programs that I have put together for fitness and body work and ergonomics and movement education and movement coaching for athletes, for Pilates, for yoga, etc., all of these classes come under our umbrella called Aston Kinetics. And we have wonderful practitioners out there that are able to help you with private sessions and also you could look us up for some of the classes and lectures and interviews that we've done. We're being invited to do more and more. So I just wanted to get on the bandwagon of other people inviting me to come help you. And so today I wanted to just film something for you. Um, so years ago, I had a very serious car accident and it left my body compromised and I got into the field of body work um, and I was already in movement, fitness, etc. And then in 93, I broke this leg skiing, my right leg skiing, and they rebuilt it from my pelvis. And then in 2011, I broke this left ankle and then in 2019, I broke this knee. And what happens as you age, and I'm now living my 80th year, what happens as you age is you lose certain abilities or they become very compromised, reduced, etc. And so you watch athletes running and you watch children jumping and you go, golly, I wish I could do that again. I can't do that actually right now. I just wish I could. And so years ago, I put together a series of fitness programs. And one of them is on loosening, one is on toning, one is on stretching, one is on cardiovascular, etc., etc. And so today what I'm focusing on is selecting from some of those moments in those trainings and just sharing how I've allowed myself to continue feeling like I get the exhilaration from jumping. I get the benefit, I get the benefit of the body segments impressing and stretching and impressing and stretching and impressing and stretching that you get when you jump. And so I want to um, just show you some of the things I'm playing with. Now, obviously I'm not doing a training for you because I can't see your body, I can't see what your compromises are. So I'm sharing an idea for you to play with, okay? Now, I'm going to start in a moment on this rebounder, and I prefer being barefoot, but if you have certain compensations going on that you need your orthotics, etc., be sure and wear your shoes for everything that I'm showing you today. Okay, so jumping can continue is the theme here today, and we want to thank our friends at bensound.com uh, for their music. And I'll be using that now on the rebounder, just starting with something very small and just letting the dance come through you.
things uh, as a prop that we use uh, for equipment are these stretch bands, stretch cords from stretch cords. Um, and you can duplicate what you were doing or what I was demonstrating on the rebounder with this density of this particular green one. It, it, the, the density is such that when you stretch it, it rebounds you back up from above. And so because I'm always looking at how we can massage the body in different angles, different vectors to get different changes, the pulling me up is very different than the bottom of the rebounder pushing me up. So I want you just to see, and I can describe the difference, but it is really different. It just lifts me up. Okay, let's start with the, I guess the same is okay. I don't know. to a different density, different pull with the yellow uh, band of stretch cords, and I'm gonna do them again with a slight bounce in the movement. But what's so nice with having a assistance from overhead is again, it's lifting me up as I do this. So much of the exercise that people do, particularly with the this particular with weight, they do this movement. When the body is still like this, staying in one place, the movement uh, being repetitive can actually, not only it can build muscle, which is the positive part, but it can also jam and compress the tissues as they come into the joint. But when you are moving your whole body and the arm lengthens, then this allows this to stay resilient and doesn't compromise the joint so quickly. So here we go. Let me demonstrate this. a few ideas for you to play with. Bye for now.